What federation? USBA. I compete as a 63 kilo lifter, which is 139 pounds uh, for the USAPL. <laughs> so in the gym for me is my squat was 375 in training. Um, bench was 190, 190 something, almost 200, and then deadlift was. 463 um, and then competition just recently I missed my third squat which was 375 so I ended with 352 um, bench I ended with 187 because I missed my third bench and then I ended with 463 um, on deadlift just to kind of secure a thousand pound total which you did I have, have. <laughs> <laughs> I think my lifts are actually pretty close to my gym and meets. I think I hit my best in a meet was 381, and then I've hit 385 in the gym. Um, I've tied my best bench, so it was 226. And then deadlift is the only one that I do better in meets than I do in training. Uh, my best pull in the gym was 430. Actually, it was like a week ago. <laughs> and my best pull in a meet was 446, which was uh, Raw Nationals last year. Ooh. So we're going to beat that in three weeks. Yeah. I'm going to need you to spot me on this one. Yeah. Me, not that long. Um, I like committed to my first meet and like actually started lifting like squat bench deadlifts. I want to say like a year and a half ago was my first meet and like I was hooked. I was like, I want to keep doing this. So I know I have a lot to learn, a lot of room to grow. So you're still doing really well for just beginning, starting. I guess yeah. the gains, whatever people call that. Shit. Beginner gains. <laughs> so I was actually injured for two years. So my first meet was actually in January of 2014. And then I did another Raw Nationals 2014. And I think it was July. And then I was injured for like, so I didn't compete. Uh, so I was off for about two years, and then it took me, yeah, a long time to get back. But my first meet was December of, my first meet back was December of 2015. So I've been able to train consistently without any serious injuries for the last two years. Oh, cool. Yeah, about a year. Uh, so for me, I'm taking a bit of a break. Next meet's going to be the Anaheim Expo in August, I think at the end of August. Um, so I'm just going to have like a little off season and like work on some things so I don't need to show my third squad again. I think, fix that. what did you just change? So I'm going to wear J's now. <laughs> I'm switching to like a flat shoe instead of like my, I was using Nikes for the longest time, which had a really big heel. The so, Romalias? Yeah. Those were, I got a brand new pair 
um, and I used them twice and it just was not working out for me. So then I switched to the Addy Powers that I was using before. That was better, but now my coach is saying that we should do flat shoes and then like lower the bar. So those are the changes bar. that I'm going to do is lowering the bar and trying the flat shoe. So it kind of helped You're me today. Super high bar, yeah. like to my on top of my traps. Mm. So lowering is like definitely help. Yeah, really, really uncomfortable. Uh, I'm doing, doing the Arnold. I'm doing the Arnold. The is it American Pro or Pro American? Yes, the wrong person. I know it's. Don't call me out because I said it the wrong way. <laughs> so I forget what way it was. Don't worry, I'll put all the information Whatever down below. Wrong, so it's like Pro American or American Pro. <laughs> So I feel like a mistake that a lot of people make is cutting weight for their very first meet. And I would say not to do that. I would say that like if you're just starting out, you don't need like the newest gear. You don't need a $500 camera and like $300 squat shoes. Like just train, get a total, have fun with it, make sure you like love it. And then if you wanna cut weight and you wanna break records or whatever and spend all the money on the stuff and then go for it. But I would say starting off, just have fun with it. I kind of piggyback off what she said and uh, I remember for my first meet, I was really nervous just to do it. So I think just just doing the meet, not really, honestly not having expectations, but I think the biggest mistake most people make would be like comparing people that you see on Instagram and you're like, wow, this girl's so strong. Like. I'm nowhere near her, like I'm not gonna compete until I feel strong. And it's like, you can't look at it in that way. You know, it's just, com compete against yourself. That's really what it is, you, have to you know? So you wanna this. do better than you did last time. So like, just do a meet to get it out of the way. You know, don't I mean, say have expectations, but just, just do the meet. Yeah, get a total and then come back and then it's like, you have a foundation oh, yeah. to, Go yeah. And Instagram's the worst because like you're constantly comparing yourself to lifters who have been doing it for years. And I think people forget that. That like they've been competing and they've been powerlifting consistently for like years. So they've been putting in the work for a really long time and you can't just step on the platform and be like that person. Like you just like she said, go have fun with it. Don't have expectations. Just have fun. Just have fun. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. And go follow them on Instagram. They are both amazing power lifters that you guys that deserve <laughs> a lot more recognition than they do. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye.